So I have this student in my high school that about every three or four weeks he comes down to the office with an office referral. Super angry, letting the profanities fly. I can hear him coming usually on his way down. And each time he gets down there, he cools down and he has a list of reasons why this shouldn't be his fault. And here's one of the things that we know with the pyramid of responsibility. If the person dealing with the student is uh, angry, appears to be enjoying the conflict or putting the student in their place, it makes it so easy to project that problem back onto the adult. And so after this, this repetition of this had happened many, many months, uh, I realized getting this kid to step up and own the problem was the only chance for growth. And uh, this kid was going to graduate the next year, and we really needed to, to work on this. So I began to meet with the teacher, and I said, look, you and I are going to practice. We've got to do it in a different way where you and him aren't going back and forth with each other and the conflict isn't growing because it's making it so easy for him to project this back onto you. And the teacher didn't love practicing with me, but we got ready and I put those skills into that teacher. And what happened is I used to go see the teacher and when I got to the classroom, he was angry. I would say, how did it go when you talked with Corey? And he said, how did it go? What do you mean, how did it go? I shouldn't have to put up with that. I told you not to have him in my class this year. But what was neat is after about a few months or a month, of practicing. Corey was still doing some of the same behaviors, but when I would go check with the teacher, how did it go? He would say things like, I think I did really well. I did a really good job of modeling what we're trying to teach him. And after about three or four referrals of that teacher doing a marvelous job with the student, the student was sitting in my office and that moment that we're looking for with kids happened. He defended himself, he argued for a while, and when I explained again, did your teacher do this? Did they talk to you this way? Did they try to help you this way? All of a sudden, the student's head dropped. And I could see tears start to drop to the floor. And he looks up at me and he says, I'm starting to get embarrassed. I can't get control of myself. And that's when we could start working with him. And we started to work on that behavior. He was also willing to get himself some counseling. And we, had, we could have kept doing the same thing and justified what we were doing was right because of his inappropriate behavior or we could have done it in a way where he could see that it was him.